5-0 for Mr. 501. Wayne Mardell dispatches Andre Velga very straightforwardly here at the Südbahnhof Arena in Frankfurt. An average of just a shade under 90 was all Wayne Mardell needed in round one. Andre Velga, who had chances certainly in leg one, never really found any kind of form and you could feel the end coming before it did. Let's hear from the winner then. Here's Wayne Mardell with Ned. Well, Wayne, it wasn't what the German crowd came here to see, but uh, we'll set up for that. England, England 5, Germany 0. Um, comfortable, wasn't it? It was, yeah. I, I, I don't really care about the German crowd at the moment. I, I was just going for a win, simple as that. Andre didn't play well. And uh, he had a couple of darts that were falling out the board, and uh, there was one shot there. He hit a treble 20, 20, and the other one clearly stuck in and fell out. And I said to him during the game, I said, oh, unlucky, but... I was uh, I was pretty happy with the result, obviously. Yeah, sure. It's very, I mean, when things go against you, it's very hard to turn that tide, isn't it? But the way you played, now um, looking forward and looking at the man who's coming next, of course, Phil Taylor, um, you've beaten him in front of the cameras very recently, haven't you? So, I mean, you know, he's not he's not the only man in this tournament, is he? Oh, no, he's not invincible. He's uh, He's been beaten many times, and he gets beat probably most weeks, but he, he does win hell of a lot, and uh, testament to him, he practises and he does what every pro dart player should do, and that is uh, get their game right. And I'm hoping to do that this week, so uh, I'm looking forward to watching him in a minute and see, see what I can learn. Yeah, well, I mean, do, do, you know, given the way you've started opened your account, do you, you must fancy a, going a long way in this tournament, I should imagine, Wayne. Well, I feel quite comfortable. It's, that was an hard game to judge how I'm playing, to be totally honest, because uh, the pressure really wasn't there. But I know I'm playing OK. And that's all you can do. You, you've got to win one game at a time. You haven't got to beat the field in the first game. You've just got to win, win the first game and then see how it goes. But uh, as I said, I feel quite comfortable. It's a simple game. Congratulations. It is, yeah. Thank you. So we are halfway through the first round action here in Frankfurt this evening. Wins so far for Mark Walsh for Mervyn King. An upset to some extent, certainly, for Carlos Rodriguez beating Terry Jenkins. And certainly no upset with Wayne Mardel dispatching Andre Velga. Next, it's the Irishman, Jacko Barry, against the dominant force in darts, Phil, the power, Taylor. Well, Phil, tell us about your first-round opponent, first of all. He's a qualifier, isn't he? Jack O'Barry. What do you know about him? Well, he's been, um, he's been around for a while now. He's been qualifying for most tournaments, so he's, he's no pushover. So you've got to watch, watch him tonight. You know, he's, uh, he's nice and steady. He's a good little player. So I've just got to watch, watch him now and make sure I play well myself. It's a tricky one, isn't it? But I mean, if you, I don't know, I haven't consulted the bookies, and I'm sure you never look at what, are the bookie, what price the bookies are offering against you. But you're the favourite, again, the firm favourite. You've dealt with that in the past. Is this any different? No, not really. I don't. Until somebody tells me, I don't know. I never look. So I'm not bothered, really. You know, it's another tournament, so which I hope for win. Um, so it's, it's head down tonight and, and, you know, get ready for, uh, hopefully, get through to the next round because it's a, a bigger format. It's, it's a small format tonight. So it's, uh, you've got to be on your toes. Your darts, though, are as good as they have ever been, would that be fair to say? Are you playing as good as well as you've ever done? Yeah, I think so. I think, I'm, yeah, I'm happy enough, but I think I can improve as well. I'm going to try and design a way of improving myself again if I can. I, I think he can make the game perfect, so I'm going to try and do that if I can. Phil, just briefly, show us these darts, because you've changed the weight, haven't, haven't you? And yeah. how much of a factor was that, and how did that work? It's a smaller dart. It's, obviously, it's not as long, so I can throw them more direct. But uh, I just like them. They're my wife's darts. I nicked them off my wife, so uh, she, I'm very happy with them. Especially because I nicked them off your wife as well. Brilliant. Hope they bring you luck tonight. Cheers. Doing the business with the new darts. The bookies make Phil 11-8 to 8 on favourite for the first European Championship title here in Frankfurt. To introduce Phil and Jack O'Barry, it's back to John McDonald. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the action live in Frankfurt, Germany. The Party Poker Dart European Dance Championship coming to you live on ITV4. Time to meet those players from Dublin's Fair City, Ireland. Would you please welcome the roadrunner, Jack O'Barry.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, from Stoke-on-Trent, England, 13 times champion of the world, 70 titles worldwide. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome the legend that is Phil the Power Taylor! Look then here in Frankfurt at Phil Taylor, bang in form, up against Jacko Barry in round one, back in the commentary box for us, Alan Warren a little, and John Rawley. Thank you, Matt. £344,000 in prize money. Phil Taylor has won so far this year, and his eyes quite firmly on the 50 grand first prize here in Frankfurt this week. He is 16 to 1 on to win this match against Jacko Barry. But Jacko, well, you could say he's a man with nothing to lose. He's not got the pressure on him. And he, well, earlier on I said to him, well, you're the, you're the lucky guy, are you? You've got Phil Taylor. And he said to me, I'm the guy who's going to send him home, Alan. He certainly did. As he said, Phil Taylor, 340 grand. Only a couple of quid behind you, John, I think. <laughs> I wish, I wish. But so, uh, yeah, Jacko, obviously got a big test here. Needs to do a big job. Phil Taylor, sometimes vulnerable in the first round. Only best of nine, as we've mentioned so often. Well, he's Very been short turned distance. over, hasn't he, this year? You know, I mean, he's, he's lost in these, uh, in these shorter distances. You know, we heard about Mervyn King doing him on a couple of occasions. Colin Osborne, Colin Lloyd, Ronnie Baxter. Well, he has, yeah, he's beatable, but, he, you know, he always raises that bar and comes back to the next tournament even stronger. He'll be wanting to get, you know, his name, the first name on the tournament, the first name on that trophy, just so he can show everybody and uh, go back to that practice room and back home and... To show everybody who the governor is. He's had a stunning year, hasn't he? It doesn't seem a year ago since we were in Wolverhampton doing the Grand Thank Slam last and year, and I can remember going That's into that one. A lot of people were saying, you know, Phil Taylor, has he still Taylor. got it? Is he still there? Well, since then, he's won that, got beaten in the World Championship, but in the major championships thereafter, he has been the man. Well, that's right. As he mentioned there, he picked up his wife's darts and started practising with them. And I'm sure some players would wish he'd uh, picked his wife's high heels up and started playing with them to give him a bit more chance, but he is. Since that <laughs> creates an interesting Slam, image. Since that Grand Slam of Darts, he just he lost in the World Championship, lost three games in the Premier League, but has come back even stronger. But uh, Jacko Barry throwing wow. first in this leg, but Phil Taylor won the bullseye and decided to throw second, which he quite often does, even though he does still have to win by two clear legs if it does go. As well as his major championship wins this season, Taylor's taken 13 PDC Pro Tour titles and he's had two nine darters in competition as well. And you can see from that opening one 